Thing. Come on, then, let's have it authoritatively from one who genuinely does know, <laughs> rather than earning a living writing a newspaper column. Uh, would she have taken it in a stride, or will that have been a moment of genuine sadness for her? I have to say that that, that I don't know any more than anybody else knows, because, um, first of all, there are two components to, to, to the monarchy. One is the, the outward presentation and the role, and the other is the inner person. Now, the inner person, Elizabeth Windsor, is very private and extremely well controlled. Uh, and, and indeed, the great success, I think, of her 70 years of reigning have got to do with the way in which the inner and outer Elizabeth have managed to relate to one another. So if I did know, um, we, I wouldn't say so, because that would be that would be to break the thing. But there are things that we can all know uh, simply because they're in the public domain. And that yes. is that if you read a biography of the Queen, you know that she's been saying her prayers since she was a child. Yeah. Uh, you know that, a, that, that her Christian spirituality informed the way she grew up in her family and her relationship with her father. You know that she has... Um, acted as a as an icon of spirituality of faith of trustworthiness of duty in all her public performances i mean we're pretty sure looking at her face that there's no great gap between the outward performance and the inner person which which is what we <laughs> how we define hypocrisy there's none of that in her so these are all things we can know we know she's a woman of profound christian faith also in the middle of her, her career her career her life her, her calling she had a meeting with billy graham which is quite well known now billy graham as american evangelists go is pretty hard hitting and and the queen invited her into Buckingham Palace took him in her stride and those who who really really know talk about the profound effect he had on her privately now the only way i think that the, that private faith uh, seeps out into the public faith is in one small but very significant aspect that, that touches our lives too, and that is her Christmas speeches. Yes. And they've been written in an increasingly personal and profound way, I have to say. I mean, I'm no longer an Anglican, so you'll forgive me if I criticise the establishment a bit. Um, I, I thought the sermon at, at St Paul's yesterday was really so vacuous as to be utterly awful and a great shame. Now, if you compare the sermon of the Archbishop of York to what our Queen has written in her private speech, Speeches, that it's like it's like um, tin and gold. She's got it. She knows it. She lives it. Uh, and uh, it's a shame that those who do it professionally for a living aren't aren't quite oh, as bad as she is.